Bienvenido, let me know if I can help. Esta noche voy a comer panochita dulce. Hey, mister. Buenos días, señor. I see you know your guns. ¿Cómo andas? Cuando Coronel Allende me visita, fumamos Don Feliberto. Hola. A todo tu servicio. That's what I want. Hasta luego. I'll see you later. Do you know about dedos torcidos? Yes. Look at those. Good news, good news. The coronel himself wants to speak to you. Come. Dámelo. Dámelo. Besito. Besita. Don't be so conventional. Ah, look at that ass, huh? Magnificent. I'll save her for later. Or I'll kill her and all her family. They're probably rebels anyway, huh? Anyways, it's good to see you, amigo. Good to see you. You know, you are a rare find. A gringo who is also a friend of our country. Bienvenido. We welcome you. Okay. Dad, relax, relax. I have some wonderful news for you. Quite wonderful, in fact. You know the men you hunt? They have been captured in Chupa Rosa. I want you and DeSanta to ride out there, and then you can take possession of them. It is my gift to you. For all your help, senor. Although part of me wishes that you would remain here and enjoy more of our hospitality, huh? <laughs> Thank you. If it's all the same, I'd like to collect the men. I have a wife and son at home whom I miss. Ah, don't we all, amigo? Don't we all? <laughs> the Santa, I want you to take care of Senor Marston. Vámonos, cabrón. Go! Adelante! <laughs> Mi amor! Mi amor! <laughs> Follow me. A wagon has already been prepared. sure that means very much. You have Espinosa to blame for that. Come now, John. After everything we've been through, I think we can trust each other, don't you? How did you find him? They were captured just outside Chuparosa. The only rat must come out of this hole eventually. Being held in the church, a chance for them to contemplate heaven. Before you send them to hell, we have the area surrounded. Oh, cheer up, John. This is what you came for. You're so tense all the time. Come, let's have some fun. A little competition with my soldiers to see who's the best shot. What do you say? Anything better than talking to you. Ah, excelente. Okay, each man gets five shots at the local wildlife. Whoever kills the most, I will give twenty-five dollars. Carlitos, muéstrale cómo se hace. No tienes ninguna posibilidad. Soy el mejor tirador en todo nuevo paraíso. Be 
Street's getting a real job. We're less sick of them. People might be more than You Barry. Pretty good, right? No, I can never punch a woman like that. It's not my way. But for them, it's an honor to please the leader. My wife and child have been taken from me. That's why I have to find these men. I can sympathize with you, Senor Baston. I am married to my country. These rebel traitors, they're trying to take it from me. No, I never took a wife. A woman can be a powerful force. Like my mother. Or a destructive one. Like my mother. I find a better to avoid them. But these strong men become weak by giving them to temptations of the flesh. Are you ready for them? Pastuca and Isales! Now you will see, Vigo! So this means you're coming Mexico. It's coming to an end. I hope so. You know, I will be sad to see you leave. No, you won't. You have not many people. You just glad Coronel Allende was able to offer you the skip in return. One brave man to another. Does your brave colonel ever leave his villa? I haven't seen him anywhere near a fight yet. He's the military commander, but he also governs the province. He must be protected, kept out of harm's way. Abraham Reyes, rebel leader? I hear he rides with his men. And how would you know that? Reyes is a coward, blinded by love for himself. All he does is write songs and poems about winning battles he's never fought in. Now, we have time for one more competition. Molinas, the Tonga D. Ahora vamos a ver quién es el mejor. Si, is in this one? Don't you feel more relaxed? Sure. Whatever you say. You win when you have William Sung in the square. I believe it when I see it. My man have the complete surrender. There's nothing to win. Like the 20,000 pesos you promised when you sent me on a suicide mission with Espinosa? Yes. It has been a busy time for you here in Mexico. What do you mean? I mean, you have built quite a reputation for yourself. Just following orders, Captain. So many stories of your brave exploits. Your actions will not be forgotten, compadre. Church. It is a good place. Mr. Maston, <laughs> gracias for your service to this land. Levanten esta pizza mierda! Levántenlo! Maston, hey! Maston, <laughs> you have betrayed this land enough. I hope you have a clear conscience, because you're about to meet God. <laughs> <laughs> My brother, they will kill you if we don't get your love song. Over here, I will free you.
I arrived when I did. I guess we're even then. Now find your weapons and fight these thugs! This is a just for revenge! Viva la revolución! Para la madre! Kill these traitors! Shoot them, Joe! This is what's happening, partner! Para la gloria! Padre! 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 of this evil regime are numbered. Soon, we shall be free, living together in a noble republic, justly ruled by fine men. But, 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 el trabajo, the job is not done. Our struggle is not over. We will fight on day and night. Until local tyrants like Allende are no more. And him and all his dogs are brought to the sword. We shall be free. This time things shall be different for every man and woman in this land. And, and one day, and one day soon, Again, they will know justice! Justice! My brothers, fight on! In our hearts, we are all free! Let us make it so! Viva la revolución! Viva Mexico! 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 Mexico!
Señor. You want trouble, friend? Manos arriba. Antelas. Tranquilo. Tranquilo, amigo. Tranquilo. Ya lo tengo. Muévese, cabrón. Muévese. El mundo es muy difícil. Hmm. Tenemos que jugarlo bien. Ah, uh -huh. oh, Mr. Marston, I knew you would come. Thanks for the welcoming committee. I'm sorry, we cannot be too careful. The world is very dangerous. Especially when you greet it with a gun. Please. Mr. Marston, my father was killed yesterday. The army found him and accused him of treason. They cut out his heart and fed it to their dogs. Allende did this. Then he took the honor of two young girls. I'm sorry to hear that, Louisa. My father must not die in vain. His death must mean something. It'll mean that war is brutal and unnecessary and good people die. And that's all it will mean. That is not enough. Well, you know I'll do whatever I can. But I have problems of my own. We all have problems. This is about the people. My father died for his people. For these men and for millions like them, that they may be free. While there are guns and money, there won't be any freedom, Louisa. Mr. Marston, the movement is on the brink of great victory. Allende knows this and has sent for reinforcements. Abraham Reyes asked personally that you stop them reaching Escalera. They are coming by the old trail. You must ambush them. I have my own family to worry about. Mr. Marston, I have lost my father. My mother is in the United States. My sister has fled. I have no family, just because. Please, good actions make you a good man. Then I'm doomed. But I will help you, out of respect for your loss. Thank you, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Come on! The army convoy is already on its way. Bring your horse or ride on the wagon with me. I'm sorry about your father. His death must not be in pain. Now we shall fight even harder to win power for Abraham. I admire your devotion. He is a true revolutionary. A man who puts the needs of others before his own. A man who fights out of love rather than hate. But you know this already. I heard about the battle at Chuparrosa. How he killed nearly a hundred soldiers to save your life. It'll go down in legend. I'm sure of that. Can I trust you, Mr. Marston? In what way? You have done so much for me and my family. But I still can't forgive you for helping Allende, for what you did to the rebels. I'm here for two men, that's it. Not to take sides. And certainly not to fight a war that isn't mine. It makes no sense. You make a choice by not making a choice, you know. Allende betrayed me. I saw him do bad things. Things that disgust even me. Allende is pura maldad. One day I will cut his heart out. But me, you, him, we're all shooting people. Don't really seem like we're so very different. The difference is why, Mr. Marston? The ideals we hold, there can never be revolution without blood. Until people forget what they're shooting for, and just enjoy killing for its own sake. You Americans... his name.
count on revolution so much, Mr. Marston. I guess I can't pretend to understand your country's politics. But you think we are fighting for nothing? Take no notice of me. I ain't got much faith in power just now. That is exactly why we must continue to fight for change. Nothing ever really changes. You are a man who has lost his spirit. No doubt. I once believed it was possible to make a difference. The men I'm chasing, they did too. Then, if we spill enough blood, we can change the way people think. Revolutions are always won with blood. And after the fighting's done? Freedom. We ain't never free. Be honest with yourself, and you will be free. That must be what I've been getting wrong all these years. Rig dynamite on the road. Please tell them where to place it. I'll be waiting up above, watching for the wagons. Okay, follow me, gentlemen. Vale, where do you want it? Start here. Another one here. This is good. Another one here. Set the last one here. Good. Now go. Luisa is waiting for you at the top of the hill. Get ready, John. Look, they are coming. Thank you, Mr. Marston. We are a step closer to power. My father would be very proud. 
I hope it was worth it. I must return to Campo Mirada. Meet me there when you can. I will do my best to return the favor. <laughs>